Hey Salam, I hope you guys are doing well. Halal Chef is back for another video and this time I'm making delicious beef roast. Gonna serve it with crispy potatoes, steamed vegetables and a mouth-watering gravy. Trust me, you're really gonna enjoy this recipe. A big shout out to Ono Kaso for sending this beautiful tagine. Today we'll be using this tagine pot to cook our beef or beef roast. I will leave some links in the description so you can check out this pot. If you do want to purchase, I will leave a discount code below as well. Without further ado, Let's get started. First of all, you're gonna grab the beef. Here I've got a beef joint which is netted. The reason for that is it's gonna keep its shape and it's gonna stay nice and juicy from inside, okay? So we're gonna keep things very simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a good pinch of salt on the top and on the side as well. Then we need to add a bit of the black pepper, all right? Again, from this side just toss that around there's no need to season too much it's gonna be perfect just like that now you want to grab some olive oil just add a good dash of that on the top and with the help of your hand just massage that through all right now don't worry about removing this thread it's not gonna burn out because it's made of cotton Grab your roasting tray and you want the temperature to be around medium high. Now when the pan is nice and hot, I'm just gonna add in our beef, fat side down. We're gonna sear this from all sides. Get a nice color. It's gonna lock in those juices, it's gonna lock in that flavor. Turn to a different side now. So carefully move that to another side. Getting nice and brown as you can see. That's exactly what we are looking for. Just press it down a little and make sure it's uh, touching the pan from all sides. Just turn off the heat and remove the beef onto a plate. All right, carefully. Place the pan here. And now I'm just gonna add in the onions. Add the beef on the top just like so this will make sure our beef doesn't get burnt from the bottom and doesn't get a darker color now you want to add some garlic cloves just a little bit it's gonna help with the sauce i'm not adding any carrot celery or potatoes we're trying to keep the beef in its original flavor so now we're just gonna add our stock finally i'm gonna add some rosemary on the top and just a touch of olive oil. Touch of uh, pepper and touch of salt. Now cover the top and this is ready to go in the oven. Now big shout out to Uno Casa for sending this beef for tagine. You can make your Moroccan dishes, you can cook your roast, anything really. We're going to let this cook in the oven for around five hours on a very low heat. So this goes in the oven at 150 Celsius for five hours. For our crispy potatoes, I've got here Mary's Piper. Now you could use russet potatoes, but these would work just fine. All right, so we're just gonna remove the skin. Now these potatoes are gonna be super crispy, trust me. All right, so there we are. We're just gonna cut these potatoes into little chunks, obviously. So go through the middle and just cut them through. And you don't want it too small. That's perfect, okay? So look at that. If you want, you can keep it a bit, you know, more large. But try to keep the shape equal, okay? So they will cook evenly. In boiling water, add a good touch of salt. And baking soda for extra crispiness. Now let's add in the potatoes into the boiling water. Be careful, should have used a plate. Give them a layer mix. We just want to cook them until they are nice and soft, but not too soft. Should take you around nine to ten minutes. All right, guys. So the potatoes are done. What I did was I took one potato out and I just check it for resistance. Okay, so as you can see, it still has that uh, resistance in there, but it is a bit softer as well. So that's exactly what we are looking for. Okay, just like that. And if you eat it, you can see it's not like fully done. There's a little bit left to it. So just turn off the heat now. 
Also carefully drain that water. Now let me tell you, do not overcook them because they would turn into a mush. I'm just going to let them uh, steam out and let them completely dry. Grab a bowl and with a good touch of sunflower oil. You could also use olive oil or butter or clarified butter. Good pinch of black pepper, good pinch of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, cayenne pepper for a bit of heat. Give that a mix. Add in the potatoes and you want to give them a really good shake all right and rough up the edges a little. A good mix rough up the edges a little as you can see they look amazing it's gonna form a nice crust on the outside lovely grab your baking tray add in the potatoes just here and I'm just gonna evenly distribute them here smells amazing to be honest with you guys just trying to make sure they're not close to each other. The heat needs to go around, you know, make them nice and crispier. Now these are ready to go in the oven until they're nice and golden brown. Now it's best if you turn them halfway so they are equally brown from all sides. Potatoes goes in the oven. I've just removed the potatoes from the oven and I'm just gonna turn them so they are equally brown from all sides. Our beautiful crispy potatoes are done. Can you see how crispy they are? Just look at that. Beautiful. Finish this off with a good touch of dried parsley. Crispy potatoes, done. All right, so the beef roast has been cooking for around five hours. Just gonna place it here. The moment of truth. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Oh man, that looks so good. Just carefully remove the beef from here onto this plate and I'm just gonna let it rest for around 25 minutes. Grab a small bowl and we're gonna remove these juices onto this uh, bowl here. For the gravy and some butter add a tablespoon of flour. Mix and cook the rawness of the flour. We're making a roux here. Now slowly add in the juices from the beef and give that a really good mix. Bring this to simmer. Look at the beautiful color. It looks amazing, trust me. Let's check the gravy. As you can see, it's nice and thick now. And it's simmering away. At this point of time, just turn off the heat. Our beautiful gravy, done. So I'm just gonna have a little taste. This is also the best time to check for any seasoning if you want a bit more salt, a bit more pepper. Oh man, wow. It is that really nice onion and beef flavor. Oh man, it's amazing. The beef has rested for around 25 minutes. Now we're just gonna remove this ribbon. Some of the beef got stuck here, so I'm just gonna mm. or carefully go through your knife and let's just cut that beautiful beef. Oh man, just look at that beauty! Just look at that. Mm. I'm also serving the beef roast with some steamed vegetables.
All right, guys, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try these crispy potatoes first. Look at that. Mmm. So delicious and the texture is amazing. Let's try this beef now. Look at that. Wow, so tender and it's so juicy from inside, you know. So, so delicious. So look at that. One of the best beef roast ever. Mm. All I need now is some Sprite. Cheers. Now that was so delicious. I can't really explain the flavor. It was just out of this world. Oh man, this beef roast recipe, you're really gonna enjoy it, trust me. Slow cooked beef always makes a great meal along with your veggies, roasted potatoes, oh man. And that delicious gravy is just icing on the cake. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, I'll see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom, make for your dad, make for your family, enjoy.